Redefining AI computing is exactly what Cerebras is trying to do. I have the CEO here to tell me more about it, and he's showcasing his new products, only on Taking Stock. have released our third generation uh, wafer scale engine and th this is I brought one for you here th this is what it is wow. this is the largest chip in the history of the computer industry Wow this is a four trillion transistor part the uh -huh. largest other chip is about 80 billion transistors so uh, most chips are the size of a postage stamp and as you guys can see this is the size of a dinner plate and the advantage is uh, this enables us to do AI work hundreds of times faster than any alternative product. Oh, okay, so that's what sets it apart from what's currently available on the market right exactly now. Exactly right. For AI work, bigger chips process more information, producing answers more quickly. Uh -huh. And so these chips go into systems that we build and we tie those systems together into supercomputers. And you also announced major customers in the healthcare space, including Glaxo, Smith & Klein, AstraZeneca, most recently the Mayo Clinic. Tell me about these partnerships. The healthcare industry is more than 14%, I believe, of GDP. This is a huge, yeah. a huge part of our economy. And the ability to deliver more efficient healthcare, starting from the drugs we uh, we have in the pipeline. Mm -hmm. So with GlaxoSmithKline, we're working on uh, using AI to accelerate research, to accelerate the drug design pipeline. Mm -hmm. With uh, Mayo Clinic, we have projects to look at the efficacy of, of drugs to ensure you're getting a drug based on your genetics that is likely to make your rheumatoid arthritis mm -hmm. resolve more quickly. Yeah. We're working on a whole range of problems around the delivery of healthcare. Yes. The, the, the AI is a tool that can be used to substantially improve the way we live and work and play. And, and healthcare is fundamental to the live. Tell me about the biggest trends that you're seeing in 2024 when it comes to the AI sector. We saw this on the horizon. We founded the company in order to, to build AI compute that was faster, used less energy, and easier to use. Yes. And the world as we saw it unfolded. Yes. And as we look forward, we see AI playing a larger and larger role in, in our lives. Well, thank you so much, Andrew, for joining me today. What a pleasure to be on your show. Thank you so much.